morning guys happy 4th of December I am having breakfast now at about almost 10 p.m. I mean a.m. Um, just moving slow um, hanging out hanging out yesterday so <laughs> yeah I'm moving slow today so anyway I'm having orange juice with vitamin D and calcium <laughs> and um, a bagel with I don't know if I wanted garden vegetable cream cheese or regular cream cheese, so I just might mix the two. And um, I ended up doing my nails yesterday, and that's about it. Um, I'm at work, and I have to do work now. So, I'll pick you up at lunchtime. Hey guys! It's lunchtime! I have no idea what I want to eat. I'm so tired, I just want to go home and sleep. But I can't. I have to go back to work and finish working. You know, be responsible adult stuff and do stuff, you know. Um, I think I'm gonna get Japanese today. There is a place that I like called Kobiaki. They have um, fresh food, they have burgers, they have bowls, they have sushi. I'm just making sure I don't get hit crossing the street. Um, what else do they have? Salads. Mm, you know, just a oh, mixture of things. So, yeah. I'm gonna head over there now. So I will show you the place when I get there. I got a tuna tataki salad, which is seared tuna, ginger soy dressing, avocado, cucumber, and a bed of lettuce with cabbage in it. Um, I really like this. I get it often. Um, there's all the way to this um, one time piece that you put on it. Um, 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 nothing exciting, just food. Um, yeah to get one of these seats where I'm sitting really high because I can't get a booth seat because I was going to grab one and someone got there before me. It's kind of like cutthroat. It looks like someone's getting up behind me though so I don't know if that's really going to happen or if he's just throwing stuff away. But if he is, I'm going to sit there so that I can knit while I actually eat because it's a lot more comfortable to be a little bit lower than up on a stool. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm about to eat right now. <sighs> and um, by myself and it's okay because um, sometimes the time I get out of work I can't really hang out with anyone. Oh, the seat opens up, I'm gonna grab it. So I did get that seat and was sitting in the corner by myself because I was a bad girl and I went out last night and I should have been sleeping. <laughs> um, so, I'm about to have lunch and I can show you my knitting if I can find it. Oh. I I have a sock toe as well as the foot of the sock beginning. Um, just getting that started. Um, I started it Friday. You saw the picture, the video. Um, I intended to knit a lot more on it, but doing the hair took over. So couldn't really knit while I have hair color on my fingers because the yarn has been dyed already. I don't need to dye it again. Anyway, um, <laughs> oh, I am wearing my sweater from the yarns from Isis Fiber Arts in um, British Columbia. And uh, yeah, I'm nice and toasty and looking forward to making more sweaters with her yarn because it really is beautiful. So, um, talk to you guys later. Yum, 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 yum,
Oh, let's eat. <laughs> curious as to how much do I actually knit when I'm on the train so you see here it looks like it's about an inch and three quarters of the actual foot after I stopped the toe so um, I'm gonna get on the train and knit and we will measure when we get home because I'm curious and this is a good thing to know with my mathematical brain that's always thinking analytically all right so uh, see you guys um, in Brooklyn six thirty. I am home from work and looks like this three and a half inches well maybe a little less than three and a half inches but around three and a half inches on my socks so I knit two inches on the train that's good to know especially when I have knit speed knitting challenges and I can know that I can knit four inches a day if I get a seat on a train and the bus. So uh, this was a fun experiment. Uh, talk to you guys later. Hello everyone. I just finished um, day three's vlog. So it is compressing and rendering and doing its thing now. So it should be up pretty soon. I'm probably gonna get something to eat now and settle in for the night with some tea yes um and i forgot to show you david's tea from yesterday because i didn't get to drink it so i'll have my choice so i will make some tea and um probably watch outlander tonight because i've missed a couple episodes and i want to finish making some progress on some socks so yeah i'll uh, get that going yeah <laughs>
So I'm here enjoying my cup of tea. It's starting to get warm now. I mean, cool now because <laughs> it was hot. Um, I really like jasmine green tea, but this tastes a little bit bitter to me. I love the smell of it. It smells really sweet. I put like three spoons of honey in there, maybe four, and it's still I'm still not getting the flavor that I really want. So I'm not going to count this as one of my favorites. But that's just me being honest. So, sorry. <laughs> but hey, at least I gave it a try. That's what it's all about. These advent calendars, it's all about trying all the different teas that they have. So, I'm going with the flow. Um.